All right, everybody. This is Brooke Builder 2014 here, and we are back in another episode of Minecraft Fortification, our vanilla 1.11 building series. And we're starting off here at the Mesa, and we're about ready to go collect some clay because we currently are just running low on clay, and I feel like us getting some more is probably worth it. So I think we're just gonna work on doing that and we can just you know pop in here. We'll grab some red right now. So I think we're just gonna start this episode off with a time lapse. So yeah, I'll see you guys during the time lapse. Alright, so after collecting a bunch of clay, I realized how low durability this pickaxe is at. So I got us a bunch of levels, and we're going to do two pickaxe enchants. Of course, we didn't grab any lapis, because they would be too pro. But we need to try to hopefully get one with silk touch, at least. Because I'd like to get a work pick and a silk touch pickaxe kind of work out here. So, because this efficiency 5 and breaking 3 fortune 3 pickaxe is pretty good. But I felt like instead of repairing it, we might as well just get other picks at this point. I think it's probably a better investment. I think we have plenty of diamonds right now. So let's see, just some breaking 3 and a, for and a fortune 2 efficiency 4. Okay, so both of those picks were actually pretty terrible, but... Luckily, you know, we still have a starter, like war a garbage junk pick, I guess, in a way, because we can just completely use that pickaxe, and that's like whatever. So we'll keep that there, and then some breaking three is good, because we can just toss it on, you know, any other pickaxe that we want. I've just been smelting up a bunch of iron, so let's just throw that in there, boom. So you got a bunch of resources here, so I think we're doing okay in that department. Now, one possible thing we probably want to do relatively soon would be to get the sword to sharp 5. Because, you know, we have that capability. But, I don't think it's such a huge priority right now. Because, I mean, we, we really should get pickaxes before we get the sharp 5, at least in my opinion. But we have, like, decent tools besides pickaxe, which is the only thing I really think we want to work on maxing out. Everything else is kind of okay at the point it's at right now. So I'll take, you know, what we have right now. Like, this sword's good, the axe is good, the shovel's pretty good. I mean, shovel, maybe getting self touch on would be pretty nice. But I can survive with the fortune for now. Now, one big issue we've been having in this world is wood is constantly running low. So I think that's going to be today's project, is working on a bit of a tree farm. So yeah, let me get together some resources for us to start getting the tree farm built, and I will be right back with ya. See ya in a sec. Alright, so after crafting up a bunch of cobblestone walls and a bunch, and getting a bunch of saplings, I think we're going to be able to start working on this tree farm. And for now, I'm honestly thinking we're just going to go with a cobblestone wall, but I think in the future we'll have to make something that's a lot nicer. But I think just making something big can kind of look impressive at this point. And I'm thinking we can go like 64 by 64 as the, the size of the fence. Although maybe we want to go even bigger. But we're definitely going to have to clear out an area for this. And I'm currently thinking the savanna is where I want to build this. Just because I don't really see myself using the savanna anytime soon. I think it's just going to make the place look relatively cool if there's a giant tree farm in it. I made tons of cobblestone walls because I have plenty of cobblestone from the strip mine. So let's just kill the skeleton here. And then we will begin placing down these cobblestone walls as soon as these mobs are gone.
So the giant wall has been laid out, but that's not the big problem, honestly, is the wall. The wall is relatively easy to set up. Now comes the fun part, which is blending everything and making it all feel natural, which is going to be definitely pretty difficult considering we don't have too many resources to put towards this at the moment. And then also, because it goes in the desert a bit, we're gonna have to convert some desert into savanna, or else it's just gonna be really bad overall. But it, this is definitely gonna take us some time. So I think what I'll do is I'll do it, and then when I'm done, I will be right back. After realizing how much time it would actually take to get all of this outer area looking good and the inner area all flat and stuff. I decided that I don't really think it's worth it. I think it actually looks better when everything is sort of unique like this and it's not super flat and it should look it just looks um, natural. I kind of like it actually. So I mean I don't know if it's gonna stay like this or not, but for now I think we're gonna kind of keep it like this and we're just gonna throw down a bunch of trees we do have a slightly unusable desert section but I think that's actually not that bad I mean it kind of gives it some natural feel and maybe when we get super rich and have a giant dirt deposit then we'll be able to flatten all this but we're currently doing pretty poor on dirt and I don't really have a good place to mine it up either at the moment so if I was to just take from somewhere it would kind of destroy landscapes so for now I can't really do that. But yeah, I would say that this is the most most like cost efficient wood farm because we pretty much have like a ton of area to grow trees. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below. I will see you in another episode of Minecraft Fortification. Bye guys!